Coin Collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we're going to have a stack of one cent or penny coins from different parts of the world. Uh, most of them are going to be in English, of course, because that's the uh, language that uses the uh, penny and cent denominations. But let's, let's take a look through because some of them have way more than just English on them. And here's the first one here, and it's a Singapore coin. And if we look at Singapore, of course, we have the four languages of Singapore. We have English, Tamil, Chinese, and Malay as we go around the outside. And so when we look at this coin, we see that it is, when you look at Singapore coins, you can identify the year uh, sometimes by the banner. And so this is, of course, one of the ones with the banner down. And uh, when they have the banner down, um, there's some that where the ends of the banner go up and some of the ends of the banner go down. And this is, of course, the 1994 one cent and the banner goes down. And there's the one cent part of this. Both sides of this coin were engraved by Christopher Ironside. The next coin we have is an Australian coin. And you've seen this in some of our videos, probably. It's the Australia 1966 first year of decimalization uh, penny coin. Elizabeth II, of course, the Arnold Machen portrait. And then we get the back, and of course we have the Stuart Devlin design. And let's see if we can see the SD way down in here. It's for Stuart Devlin. He is, was the engraver of this coin. Next we have New Zealand. And New Zealand, this is a 1983 coin. If we go to the back of the 19... 83 coin we see the one here and we also see that way down in here we have a J and a V well the New Zealand coin was designed by J, uh, George James Barry so we have the JB here James Barry I don't know if that's a two name last name or he just used the JB as his middle and last name but George James Barry designed this New Zealand one cent or penny coin now we have the Bermuda one, and we're going to have to change. As these coins get bigger, we're going to have to change the magnification. This says Bermuda, and I, I'm laughing a little bit because this, of course, is the Arnold Machen portrait of Elizabeth II. Uh, and this is her second coin portrait, a royal coin portrait. Uh, on the back of this one, as you know, if you know the Bermuda one, it's going to be the pig. And there it is, the 1978 one-cent coin from Bermuda showing the pig with the really curly tail. Uh, just a great coin all the way around and just a funny and fun one. Next we have this coin here and if we look at this coin can you tell um, what country this is from? Elizabeth II, DG Regina and if we flip it over, ah it's a Canadian coin. So this is a one cent from Canada and they don't make the one cent coins anymore in Canada. This is a 1969 one cent with the maple leaves and it says Canada on the back and we can kind of some some of the things that uh, you look at for Canadian coins are uh, where the kind of sprigs come out um, where the numbers how close the numbers are and this coin is not a valuable coin but it has some great toning on it oh next we have this one one of my favorite coins ever the first of the uh, United States one cent coins in God We Trust, it says Liberty here. This is the 1909. This is not the special 1909. Um, this is just the regular 1909. And we see that it says one cent here. E pluribus unum on the top, United States of America, uh, the leaves of wheat. And then on the special one cent from 1909, we'd have a VDB here for Victor David Brenner, who was the engraver of designer of this coin. What's next? Oh, there's Jamaica. There's Jamaica, the 1969 Out of Many, One People banner. The, uh, I guess it's the uh, saltwater um, crocodile on the top. Um, and uh, two native Jamaicans, one on each side with the shield in the middle. And I believe those are pineapples there. So this is the Jamaica one cent coin. And uh, we can see the one cent in English at the top and then the one underneath. What's next? Oh, the Bahama Islands. Now, the Bahama Islands is a weird one. We have this one cent coin here. 
and if I flip it over you'll see that it has the starfish on the back and this of course is their first decimalization scent well this came out in 1966 but they changed the size of it so here's a that's a 1966 here's another one and that's a 1973 see how much smaller they made it and then n they not only did that but then they changed it again so here's a more current one here's a 2015 commonwealth of the bahamas and if we flip this one over we see that it's even smaller so there's three from the bahamas i don't know of any other country that has three different size one cent coins within such a short period of time ah this one so we know this is going to be where's this going to be from probably somewhere in asia or east asia george the sixth king emperor and so he was king of england and he was emperor of india before india got its independence and if we flip it over we see that it's from the commissioners of currency malaya 1940 so this is a wartime malaysia coin and um this coin actually has some value to it the kind of rounded square ends one cent here oh next here's is a great coin i believe this is an 1897 canadian coin um we have the the bun head it's in the 1890s somewhere i believe um victoria dear gracia regina victoria by the grace of god queen it says canada and this is why i say I believe because we get to the back of this one and actually somebody just did this as a throw-in to me oops there's the nine maybe it's an 1889 or 1879 um but we it, it's really the value of this one is really in the front and uh there it is right there what's next oh sometimes we get countries that actually change up the portrait so this is kind of almost i don't want to say dowdy but it's certainly a it's a different portrait of queen elizabeth ii it says queen elizabeth ii in english there's no i eyes on here no dia gratia she's wearing the crown of course and uh the necklace and if we flip this one over we see this is from the british caribbean territories the eastern group uh the one sent from 1965. next oh here's another one of my favorites george v king emperor so this coin is a coin with a hole in it as you can see you can see right through to the coin underneath it has the crown there and if we go to the back we see that's a fiji penny from 1936 and we see that the inner rim there is a little bit misshapen um, and it has it kind of sticks out it's very cool um, 1936 fiji penny next uh this one we're gonna have to change the lighting a little bit because it's just really hard to see and if this is the one i think it is it's not even a penny at all let's see it says george the sixth king emperor and if we flip it over we see ah it's not it's a new zealand half penny but um because uh we already did look at a new zealand penny but i just love the back of this one when i was going through it so this is a 1947 new zealand half penny just a beautiful coin but does not belong in our penny collection ah neither does this one this is the 1968 ireland one pinion coin so of course in irish uh one pinion means one penny and this is the hen and chicks one pinion from ireland and you see the old um one d all right what's next oh george the six dg br on rex fd end imp okay so this is george the six by the grace of god king of all britons b-r-i-t-t-o-n-s and defender of the faith and imperator or emperor of india so this of course is going to be a pre-1948 coin we already know that if we flip this one over we see oh it's the big australian penny now how big is the big australian penny it is huge so compared to the canadian penny would be that size the u.s penny the one cent coin would be this size in the current um, Australian penny 
would be, uh, let's see, uh, maybe this size. But this, of course, is New Zealand. So it's a huge kangaroo one penny from 1944. And if we go way, way down in, we see the KG for George Kruger Gray. Um, and we see the star here, and we see the kind of the gearing. This is just a beautiful coin. And if we go way down here, right about there, you can see the dot. And I believe this coin was made, uh, I believe, in San Francisco in the United States. And let's see the front. Of course, the DG Omnirex. Next, we have one of the almost original pennies with Victoria on it. Um, Queen of all Britons, Brit Reg, FD, Defender of the Faith, Victoria, DG, by the grace of God. And we see that she has uh, the ribbon here, portrait here. And then if we get to the back, we see this is in 1890 with the ship on it. This is a, the, the famous one with the ship, shield, and lighthouse. But the ship coins, they're just, they're my favorites of the older one penny when you see that I mean of course Britain was the uh, Britain ruled the waves back then as they said it one penny and Victoria seated with the trident and then finally the last of the large British uh, one penny coins and this is let's see if we can get the light on this one just about right knock all the other pennies over that I've moved to the side and if we look at this this is just a real shiny, this is a uncirculated, brilliant uncirculated coin. Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen, Defender of the Faith. And we go to the back and we see that this is the, the newer large one penny. And of course, on a newer large one penny, there's not a ship. We, we do have the lighthouse and the shield, but there's no ship at sea. And this is the last ever of the British uh, large one penny coins. So that's all we have today from DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section. And let's take a little look at the pile as we kind of go out. All right, have a great day from DC Coin World International.